What's going on, good people? You already know. Before I go to bed, I always got to check in with my bird. Let me tell you my cell phone. It's time to go to bed. It's almost time for your bedtime. It's time to wind down. <laughs> I set my phone to literally make me go to sleep, y'all, because I will stay up all night. All night. Let me tell you, don't go to sleep. It's 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm up, and then I'll pop back up like two hours later. Like, what's going on? <laughs> right? I don't know what that's about, but I'm trying to get myself back on the schedule, you guys. But you know what? Enough about that. What's up? How y'all doing? I miss you guys. I hope you had a wonderful day today. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Ayoka. Okay. I am the Oracle Goddess, y'all. I um, am a seer okay so i dream and i do these oracle readings tarot readings um as well but just i use them as a tool to basically help understand your situation but i am a spiritual teacher okay i'm a guide so my goal is really to help you guys evolve that's what it's about i use this just as a tool that's it just to connect with you guys all right but oh otherwise i'm always gonna try bring you a message of healing <laughs> and love and light y'all all right so i'm gonna set my intentions i'm gonna clear my space real quick because i've been doing a lot of uh energy work over the last couple of hours here and really really utilizing my cards okay so let's see what that good good message is for you guys y'all don't forget to flip the rose as you see fit oh here they go and also, use the spirit of discernment. Take what you need. Leave what you don't need. Okay? Flip the roles as you see fit. And also, if you are a Virgo lover, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you. Okay? All right, y'all. So, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this reading for Virgo. Thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of these readings. Thank you so much for speaking through me loud and clearly. Spill a tea, spirit. Give us the juice. Like, I'm joking. We don't want no drama, do we? We don't want no drama. We don't want it. <laughs> spirit, wherever you see fit. Okay, I will go. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Make sure that sage don't suffocate the hell out of me it's burning up like crazy y'all i was trying to go live i literally did hit the live button on my laptop y'all to go live for y'all and that sucker just kept saying doo, doo, doo. <laughs> going live going live never connected okay so it's basically trying to tell me that i got a weak ass um wi-fi connection all right now but um i was like just forget it i'll just go ahead and do the video go through the process download upload and y'all had this video. It's like 11.48 right now. So you guys will probably have this video by like at least 2 or 3 in the morning. <laughs> oh, well, better late than never, right? Hold on. Let me try to burn this out some because let me tell you. Y'all see how the smoke rolling on this joint, right? Whew. All right. I need it though because I got this unbelievably post-COVID cough. Yes, and I've been doing everything, y'all. I'm about to go to modern time medicine. <laughs> I've been doing everything. And I'm still like... <laughs> okay. Show me what I need to see here for my Virgos. That's good. Show me what I need to see. What's Virgos energy? Okay. What's Virgos energy? What's happening? What's happening in Virgo's world? The storm is passing over. Woo! About goddamn time, right? The storm is passing over. I know I better not run out of no battery on my I'm um, not battery, um, space on my phone. It's been tripping over the last couple of days. Let me tell you, y'all. I never, I usually can get a good two hours of record time on my cell phone. Now, all of a sudden, I mean, I'm deleting pics. I'm deleting, um, I'm deleting pics. I'm deleting, uh, videos. I'm deleting apps. I'm deleting all type messages. Everything. Nothing's working. So, let me make this quick, y'all. Tell me what's next. Okay, the heel of all ages in the reverse. 
How the storm passing over? <laughs> the hell of ages is still in the reverse, y'all. Somebody still got to do some, do some work here, okay? I don't know if it's you, Virgo, or the person here and you, that you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. In the fourth chakra, in the reverse. Oh, you know what this could be? Let me pull tarot. But basically... The storm could almost be over here or already out of the picture for real. In those areas here with that, um, the block and the heart chakra and the egotistical shit, you know what I'm saying, that your people's been going through, right? Or you, okay, no judgment, no judgment, right? But um, some things may be passing through here. So hopefully that's what that is, y'all. But I'm going to pull tarot because I'm like, what the fudge is happening here in you all story, okay? So let me see. Storm warning. What's that about? Why that's in the reverse? Let me tell you, this little stage stitch is relentless. Like, <laughs> ah, that joint is like, no, I'm not going anywhere. Let me move it. I just want to be able to still keep an eye on it so that joint don't go up in flames like, whoosh. Like, damn. Tell me about the storm warning card in the reverse. Thank you, Master Team. It's safe. Let's talk. Let's converse. Alright. <clears throat> mm. That's what's happening. They like, alright, you wanna talk? Let's talk about it. Your knight of pentacles and reverse is now becoming a knight of wands in an upright position. They going from being impatient, not doing nothing, not moving forward to getting ready to take action okay i want this to go out y'all i'm over it they got this goal now and they are ready to pursue it but be careful because the knight of wands can be quite impulsive they could be impulsive or risky but however they want to pursue this goal. It's one of these things like, you know what? Even if there are challenges, oh yeah, I got that. I'm going to do what I got to do to overcome those challenges. Basically, thank you. <clears throat> All right. So, it's almost as if they like fighting their way through this storm here. They've been thinking, I just seen the hermit card, or you've been thinking, doing a lot of soul searching, you probably withdrew your energy and shit. That's probably why they coming in here. Hold on one second here. Or you may, you done something here, okay, that is kind of getting them to like hop on that horse real quick. Like, oh shit, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, let me get up out, let me get up off of this um horse here they ain't even on the horse at this point when this joint in the reverse some they, they these ninjas sitting on the side of the horse all right <laughs> they like let me get on this horse and get over here to my virgo all right mm. ace of swords come out okay so at this point here i don't know something something gave them some gave them some clarity that's what i'm saying something was made clear you may have communicated something here with them mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying you may have said something to them like you spoke your truth okay you may have been contemplating about this for a minute but something happened where you ended up speaking your truth here and what you said right it wasn't no negative stuff it was like it was your honest to, honest to goodness truth it was like you were being transparent is what I'm saying thank you You could be that knight of wands that ended that storm for real. Or bringing it to the end, you may have just rushed in and just was like, nah, I, nope, that wasn't you, Virgo. I don't even feel that in your energy for real. Mm hmm. Nope, I don't. And, and basically, here it's like, even though you got this goal, okay, 
whatever it is that you're trying to achieve here with the world card coming out in an upright position and even though it's an injustice being done here and you're not seeing any results from this situation here you still you know what I'm saying brought some clarity and understanding to the situation period it, it's almost as if you know you you went into this energy of and and reason why I'm going to say this is because you're healing, right? You're working on some deep-rooted issues where your person here definitely still has a lot of stuff that they got to work through, especially around their heart chakra. But because you are healing and you are working on the things that, you know, the matters of the heart for the most part, whatever you said to them definitely um, definitely was from your heart space. It was more one of those things where, or whatever you will, whenever this conversation transpires, okay, it's more one of those things where, you know, you just like, Hey, you know, I want the best for you. One of those things. Like, I want the best for you. Oh, I want you to be happy. I'm not forcing anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. You know what I'm saying? In my singles. I'm lo I'm learning to be content within myself. I'm loving on me. Things like that, right? And and that's what I'm truly feeling. It's like, yeah, you were in your Queen of Cups energy with them. So whatever you said, communicated, uh, whatever messages may have came across, you know, you chose a different path or a different route here, okay? Even though you know that they're still facing a whole bunch of challenges here in their life. Tell me about the healers of, age, of ages in the reverse position. King of Cups. Yeah, with the strength card in the reverse. So that's the thing. It's like they, they, they lack the strength or the carriage here. Okay, and that's what blocks them in their heart chakra is because of the fact of whatever it could be the self doubt, right? Or just because of the simple fact that they're not confident. Okay, when it comes to love, when it comes to offering any love to anybody, not just you, it's just the fact of whatever happened in their past here that has them all blocked in their heart chakra. <clears throat> that's the that's where the fear comes. I'm scared to love. I'm scared to let someone in. Mm hmm. The chariot card next to the um, four of cups. All right, I'm going to pull more on that, though. But basically, when it comes to overcoming these, you know, these challenges and taking action or taking control here, um, that's what it's really about. It's like one of those things It's like you got to push yourself out of that energy. You can't just, you know, not sit and do nothing and think that, okay, things are going to shift. No, it has to, you have to be really determined to choose your happiness. For real, it's not going to just come to you. Okay, so it's a choice. Tell me about the fourth chakra here. The storm always comes to the end. You know, the rain always shines. Yeah, that's what it is. The, the, uh, uh, I'm about to say divine feminine. Some of y'all are divine feminines, emperors. We all, the, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, of, I can't even get my words out. We are all of divinity, for real. But um, I got empress energy coming out. And basically, what I'm saying is like, I feel like you stood in your empress energy and whatever the codependencies are, the negative emotions, the feelings, whatever that is, the resentment, you put that to the side, okay? And instead, you were in, you were positive, you were empathetic, okay? Here with the Empress here, and the Devil in the reverse. If you if you aren't feeling that way, you should definitely go and shift in your empress energy. I think I spoke about that last night. I can't I can't quite remember, but yeah, if you aren't in that energy and you're still kind of holding on to some type of resentment here because um, your person here is not doing what you think they should be doing, you need to be in your empress energy. The empress attracts abundance, all things good. Just just put it that way. You don't need validation. You don't need none of that. Okay. And that's what it is. It's like, yeah, because you're literally putting in the work. You're standing in your independence. You're standing in your power. All of that. It's like, you know what? I'm an empress regardless if you're here or not. All I want for you to do is to work on you, to be happy, to choose your own happiness. Don't choose me. Choose your own happiness. Mm-hmm. Page of Pentacles. A lot of stuff may have been communicated, however, it's been communicated here with you and um, someone, okay? Um, if, Like I said, if, if you ain't gotten to this part in your story yet, you know, still listen up, you never know, right? But however, 
yeah you definitely connected in some kind of way here all right and what i'm hearing is like you manifested the goal wow it's like at the beginning of your manifestation here taking place show me what i need to see <laughs> Concern, thoughts. Okay, so they've been thinking about it. Something unexpected is coming. All right, so I'm gonna pull tarot on that. But yeah, they've been thinking about it. They've been thinking about you, Virgo, or you've been thinking about somebody. But however, whatever transpired between y'all, they thinking about it. It got them really thinking. <laughs> It was unexpected. That's what I'm saying. It was unexpected. They wasn't expecting it. Okay. I feel like either they text message you or contacted you in some kind of way. This is only for a select few. Okay. Um, it's not for everybody. I definitely don't feel that. They may have or, or, or they're thinking about messaging you. Right. But I'm hearing for some a message did go across. And that's how the conversation got sparked up. Okay. Whatever's going to transpire between you two. Yeah. It's, it definitely. Or whatever already has. Mm -hmm, is sparking some conversation. So something unexpected is coming. I got this privileged lady standing here too. So. Hmm. I can't wait to pull tarot on this. But I still feel like I need to pull another card. Because I want to know what's. What this stuff talking about. Come on. And the mature woman. Toiling and laboring. Mm, this almost feels like my message from earlier. Message of concern. I did a part one, two, three, and four. It was originally from my TikTok, but I added it to my YouTube too. So it's kind of similar. But with that one, I had the privileged lady and the main female. So here I'm having a mature woman and the privileged lady. So this could be two different energies or this could be literally just one person. But um, either you're mature, this could be somebody mama, okay, or you, you're older or um, something like that. And the message of concern, remember I was like, some messages went across here, okay. And toiling and laboring came out right between the mature woman and the privileged lady. So somebody is toiling and laboring about you two. But I'm going to pull tarot. Okay. I kind of feel like it's going to lead up to the same thing. But it's just, it's this is just the extended version of what I posted. All right. So tell me about the thoughts. What dropped out like that real quick was the four of wands. Okay. But the four of cups is here in the reverse position. Yeah. So somebody, this, this person here in your life, or you may be thinking about, um, Choosing your happiness. Four of cups. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying here is like, all right, it may be time for me to move on here. Five of swords, because whatever has transpired, it's like it may be time for me to move on here without being hindered. You know what I'm saying? By whatever my past situations are, whatever, you know those arguments may have been whatever the adversity is that i'm going through whatever i'm fighting through you know maybe it's time for me to become more aware and choose happiness right I, I'm, I'm i don't know for some reason i tapped into somebody masculine okay but um <clears throat> that's what i'm hearing that's what's coming to me in my mind and i'm speaking it as i hear it you guys so thoughts somebody's masculine has an initials of m i'm also seeing c somebody's an artist creative yep they go that four of wands oh i didn't even see the knight of pentacles golly i didn't even see these things fall yeah okay and 
when I'm saying they thinking they like damn you know I've been really like pussyfooting here <laughs> for real with that Knight of Pentacles they move slow as crap it's like I've been really like doing bare minimum when it comes to now I haven't really been supportive here when it comes to having some type of um commitment or connection here like real nothing superficial here with my Virgo right wow I mean there's so many thoughts I'm hearing going through this person's mind right now like they analyzing the hell out of this and maybe even over analyzing it yeah thinking about the heartbreak thinking about how they didn't commit or even get on get in an alignment with you on what it is you know on the, the same things okay so hmm, tell me about the unexpected income come on I just wanted to just some days it just be like woof, woof, smooth. Some days I'd be like, oh God, I can't get my fingers to wrap around it. God, judgment card. Okay, and that's what's happening. Your people's here, or you is definitely doing the self reflecting. Okay, really thinking. It's like whatever you guys, whatever this message of concern came through. It triggered an awakening, is what I'm saying, okay? And they're thinking, like, dang, I mean, I need to make some type of adjustments here. Mm-hmm. Yep, the full card comes out in the upright position. And overall, what I'm saying is, like, they've been toiling and laboring here over you and this other person. And, and literally, it's like not trusting that everything is going to work out in their highest good at the end of the day, right? That's where all of that worrying comes in, that stressing. All right, but overall, yeah, they, they a lot of self-doubt is what I'm hearing. That's where that heel of all ages comes in, a reverse end. It's just like, yeah, whatever that unhealed part of themselves, which is their heart chakra, okay, that's what keeps them from being able to pursue the goal when it comes to love. It's like it's one of the achievements. It's one of the milestones that they actually want to reach. But they they haven't really been fully committing to it here because of that. But here with the King of Wands coming out in the upright position, you know, they're coming. They get ready. They ready to. They determined. I'm seeing some type of determination here that um, they may be ready to do this. Whatever was communicated, it definitely sparked. An awakening, yep. The love too strong. The bond is too strong. The lovers. I got the King of Swords here that came out too as well. But when I see that lovers card, it's like, damn. All this time, they haven't been able to really solve their problem, right? Because it's just been them all up in their head that's creating the problem. But um, they haven't been able to solve this problem here. It's like, damn. It's like, what am I trying to solve? Like... The fact of the matter is, the love is there. Like, I, I know this is my person. I know that we got this connection. I know that I'm supposed to be with this person. Tell us about this privileged lady. Wow, that's a lot of cards, Spirit. Do I want to take all of these cards? I, let me do it again. I don't like when they come out in clusters like that. It's like, mm, four wands in the reverse. So, whatever that they had with this person, they don't support that. They don't support that idea of being in that connection. You know, some of them may have definitely made some commitments or um maybe future plans right that may have, have been like the idea of like okay yeah i could see this person as somebody i can definitely kick it with 
they they're they're the privileged lady. This person looks like they have their shit together for real. Like they got their money together. They're stable. They're at definitely single. They um got their own place. You know what I'm saying? They can take care of themselves. They really don't need this masculine. Okay, but overall, it's like okay, yeah, maybe that was the original goal here with the four of wands thinking. But now it's like in a reverse position, so that they're, they're definitely not um, supporting that goal any longer. Thank you. And yeah, I seen that four of wands in the reverse position, so. Whatever it was that they were doing before, they definitely, it's like one of those energies where you be like, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> Look at that. Knight of Wands comes out, but it's on the high, it's on the sideways. It was sideways. So, they're in this energy of, okay, I got to get things done. I got to, I got to begin to move forward. Right? But then still in this energy of, huh. It's like this impulsive energy I'm feeling or, or sometimes you know how when it's like when you got challenges, instead of going about it with integrity and just doing the right thing, it become, they become a little risky here, okay? And that's what I'm seeing. Thank you. When it comes to that privileged lady. Yeah, look. Mm -hmm. And because they're fighting for what they actually, you know, want to do, it's going to create some type of falling out. Okay, between them two. Some type of argument is going to spark off here. That's why I was like, yeah, they're going to come. They're going to, yeah, they're ready to pursue it. But it's going to be risky. And it's going to be just basically um, at the expense of winning. That's what I just heard. Yeah. Because whoever this person is in their story, they literally have been, you know, putting up some, mm -hmm, some wands in their life, basically adversity fighting against it even if it's energetically I'm hearing they still been doing things to fight against them from moving forward tell me about the toll and labor <clears throat> mm -hmm. three of cups and basically, that's what it is. It's like, okay, three of cups in a reverse position. It's like, I know I got this situation going on. got these people in my life here. And I really, you know, rather be with myself. <laughs> this is the honest to God truth, right? I really rather be by myself. But the only reason they're feeling that way, or you may be feeling that way, is because it's like, can I really manifest something here that will be successful? Because these other connections I got is just like... Is <laughs> what I'm what's coming to me is like it's I'm thinking it's a piece of shit. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Sometimes I'll be like trying to refrain from saying certain words, but it's just inevitable. But basically, yeah, it's like the other connections that I have, you know what I'm saying? They just ain't turned out the way I thought they would be. They they toxic, they this, they that. And it's like, will I be able to really successfully manifest something here? Okay, with this, with with you, Virgo, some of you are definitely, if you're not older, you are mature as far as um, your um your uh your energy, like you know how you act, how you handle yourself, things like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's what they're toiling and laboring over. It ain't necessarily like, oh, do I want her? Do I want my heart? Do I want him? Do I want him? No. It's like, can I really manifest something here? That's going to actually work? Can I actually go through with this? Can I actually commit? Yeah. Can I actually <laughs> see progress here? Again, communication going to come through. Something's coming through. Something's coming your way. Uh, okay. And the Ten of Wands. You know... Can I do it? Can I lay my burdens down, my responsibilities down? Can I stop thinking about how my past was just all fucked up? Can I stop thinking about everything I lost, the mistakes I've made? When I'm paying how I'm paying my karma now. In order to be able to come in. Yeah, that's where that hill of ages comes in the reverse at. 
like I said, a lot of times, like, it's not about them choosing to be with someone else over you, Virgo. A lot of times it's them not choosing because of their past. Just like a lot of times, I don't know how open you guys are, and I can honestly say that I could be guilty of it, is I'm not really as open to to new people, right, because of my past experiences. If, if off the back, if I feel like we have a good vibe, yeah, I may give you a chance, but not too much of a chance. I'll talk to you for a while, but I, my interest is just, it just doesn't stay there. But a lot of times it's because my standards are higher now, for one, and two, I'm like, I start seeing little signs of certain things, and I'm like, mm -mm, nope, I'm not doing it. I don't, and I'm even like, I don't even, if it's, if, I don't even want to be in a relationship with anybody else. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I don't want to be in a relationship. I would love to have it for some odd reason, but at the same time, it's just like a, a part of me. It's just like, I'd rather focus on myself and my healing because, or, you know, whatever. With, in their case, they're not. A lot of times they're not really fully applying themselves to their healing. Um, but at the same time, like, you know, just telling my story. It's like I'd rather, you know, focus on my self-sufficiency or my independence and things like that. I've already been done those years, right? I mean, it would have to really take the right person, for real. My person. That's it. It would take my person, for real. And, and that ain't no lie. Like, nobody else, I just don't give them the time of day. It's like I don't have the energy space to do it. I've already endured so much, okay? But that's why I was like, that could be something I have to work on because, yeah, that, that would be me closing myself off, right? But um, we're all learning, you know? Tell me about the mature woman. And I know that my spirit team will definitely reveal to me when I'm in error of something or what I need to work on <clears throat> as well. Um, I, even when I have tried to connect with other people, y'all, it just don't. Even if it's not even me, just like, I, I do be being resistant. But it'd be so many, <laughs> it'd be so many red flags. I'd be like, mm, 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 no, I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, Six of Swords. <laughs> You're going, this mature woman is like literally transitioning, okay, leaving behind baggage, like, look, and I'm, I would be the mature woman, I'm 42, but leaving behind the baggage, you know, like, leaving things that are familiar, just really trying to move forward, okay, even, <laughs> like I said, it's just like, mm -mm. I can't stay stuck in the past or, or connected to people that remind me of my past, hell no. Right, but for some odd reason, this one particular person, y'all, it seems like it's it's like you making these transitions, but they still are in your heart space. Yep. And as you're transitioning, you're moving forward. It's like it's pushing them into this energy of really thinking, like, I gotta get this stuff together because Virgo, <laughs> get ready to roll out without me. And be happily single. Like, look, I'm good. I don't need nobody. I'm focusing on myself. I'm chilling. You know how we are. We get we hermits. We want we we wouldn't mind those connections, but at the same time, we get we don't have no problems. Yup, temperance card comes out next to the five of wands. Let me let me hurry up and get my shit together <laughs> and bring balance to this situation. Find some type of resolution here to all this conflict that I got going on around me here. Okay, what's this message of concern? The higher font in the reverse. Five of Cups. So what it looks like is somebody is, let me see, hmm. so what it looks like here with the high front in the reverse position is that somebody is deciding not to either be in a commitment any longer or be committed to a certain situation or whatever that may be, you know. 
or or even being rebellious when it comes to relationships you know how it is it's like you'd be like man fuck love like i'm not doing that i don't believe in relationships i don't believe in monogamy things like that it's like whatever that is somebody is deciding here like okay let me face the let me face the mirror let me turn around and look at the cups that are behind me instead of focusing on the cups that are spilled right and that's 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 the mm -hmm. where it was going from feeling powerless or not taking any type of um control or having very little direction is now like okay i've done soul searching i thought about this <laughs> with the thoughts card thought about this shit now it's time for me to jump out there okay let me make a decision hold up but before i jump out there let me take a step back real quick and just really look and weigh my pros and cons <laughs> Let me see what's going on over here. Okay, here go Virgo. Okay, Virgo. All right, here go the other situation. Mm -mm. I really didn't gain nothing from that. I just just lost. I just lost. Hardship, grief, losing money. <laughs> you understand? Know losing respect for people. Now, yep, three of cups in the reverse. Next to that magician again. So basically, mm -hmm, it's like, okay, even though I'd rather be or take this journey by myself let me see what i can actually manifest here let me make a decision the justice card had flew out let me make a decision here one that's just one that's fair it's a lot of thinking going on wow what's going to be in that message of concern They're basically, yep, where someone was working as a team with um, this other person is what I just heard. It's like, mm-mm. They're going to end up really speaking about the whole situation overall is what I'm seeing. From again, it's like it's like weighing those options. It's like, okay, I made a mistake. I know you don't respect me. I know I said this is what I would do. I made a mistake. I was operating out of my King of Pentacles Pentacles in a reverse energy. Being greedy. Materialistic. I'm sorry I caused you the pain. Nine of Swords in a reverse position. I'm sorry I caused you the stress, the anxiety. I really thought I could, you know, commit, but thought we could we had the same goals. I was lying. Seven of Swords. I was being dishonest. I was wearing a mask. Who was this message of concern going to? To the baby mother. Sorry. <laughs> to the other person. Oh, but every time I see the Empress in reverse, I'd be like, the baby mother. It don't have to be y'all. <laughs> Empress in the reverse could be anybody. The mother, the aunt, the sister, the brother. <laughs> okay, it could be anybody. Ten of Wands in the reverse position. Whoever that... Uh, person is that karmic person that's just it's easier for me to say the distinguish between all these goddamn people in y'all story okay but whoever that person is okay your person here has definitely been carrying a major burden with this situation and it's just like they cannot agree on anything it's like everything is an argument everything is just a big blowout okay and it gets really bad really bad they never can come to any type of agreement because everybody is just at this point in in that situation it's like i just want to win because i want to cause you pain right with this five of swords that's it that's all i'm saying it's like i want to win because i'm going to cause you pain and that's it but what i'm hearing is like nah you or your person here is going to speak 
the truth and bring some clarity to this situation so that they can be able to expand because the whole time they've been lying okay they've been wearing a mask they've been one foot in one foot out being dishonest taking those swords and bringing them to you right and trying to leave two behind like nah i'm still here we still could we still cool we still good you know what i mean but all along like <laughs> i'm so freaking visual y'all <laughs> I'm like, man, they got that PlayStation. <laughs> they got that tennis shoes, that clothes, whatever, right? Like, moving up out that door. Like, yeah, maybe they won't notice I'm gone, right? Mm -mm. And it's just like they had to do it that way because it's just always them clashing. It's always painful words. It's always them having to double check behind themselves or double check behind them. It's always confusion. All of this stuff. So it's like, you know what? I can't even talk to you. We can't even talk. We always here. Only way that I know how to get out of this is doing this. And what I'm hearing is like the reason why they've been having to operate like that is because it's just something about you, Virgo, that this karmic does not like. And whatever may have transpired between them two, they may have been lying about your role in their life. That's what I just heard. But they were doing it because this karmic person, for some of you... I'm hearing that this karmic person may have definitely contacted you several on several occasions. That's how toxic this Queen of Wands is. It's like everybody, everybody gonna feel this um heat. Yeah. And at one point, your person here, you was really trying to work with them. And I'm hearing this because you know whatever the obligations are. It's like I'm trying to work with you. We got an obligation here. Okay, even if it ain't about them sharing the same goal, but the common goal was the obligation, whether it's children, whether it's money, partnerships, whatever. So, yeah, I'm trying to work with you. But for some odd reason, I, what I'm hearing is like this person may definitely their karmic may have definitely um, done some things basically to try to get you and them apart. I mean, down to anything, down to anything. It's like I feel like you guys were always friends for real. For some of you okay <clears throat> and it's like once they really came along it was like it became some type of competition for them not for you divine timing is kicking in This is why divine timing is kicking in because it's some healing that needs to be done at on a deeper root um in this masculine's life right it's still some kind of confusion there with them so i'm gonna see Yeah, it's some kind of confusion here. Something they're confused about. Let me pull tarot. And, and, they, and they, they're, they're definitely hiding their true feelings. I feel like they're telling you, but it's still like subliminal messages. You know how that is? It's like they tell you, but then you're still kind of trying to read behind between the lines. Like, what? <laughs> like, you really just don't know how much. <laughs> what? No, obviously I don't. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else? That's it. Ooh, I gotta hurry up, y'all, because I, I forgot about this cell phone. Let me pull on these real quick. <clears throat> why am I, why are they confused? Look, that next card that's out beside it, it say that karmic doesn't want um, your person here 
doesn't want you Virgo to have them literally that's what I said it's something about you Virgo that's crazy y'all can't see it but I put it up there so you can see I ain't, I ain't bullshitting y'all that karmic doesn't want this masculine okay and they don't want you to have them either that's just what it is so it's like they ain't they ain't with this person they just really just be in adversity in their life because it's like an injustice they feel like an injustice was done to them and all along it was it was it was both ways i definitely can say that i can feel that okay and they're confused is because with this three of cups coming out in the reverse tell me more it's almost as this feeling like i don't know who to trust i don't know what to trust yeah because of that that karmic energy in it and what I see when I see that privileged lady, it's like almost as if it's like they're feeling, it's almost this feeling of like they feel entitled. They feel entitled to have your person. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they feel like a fool because they literally should have been always offering you that cup of love all along. But they chose the wrong person. They went in the wrong direction. Whenever this could have happened to y'all, okay, is what I'm seeing. And that's why they're confused is because, damn, I made some bad choices. Like, why would you even want me? Why would you even still rock with me? Yeah, I, I didn't make, I didn't, I had no direction. I did not try to even overcome any of our challenges to work with you. Instead, I was operating out of my greed. That's why they're confused. They're confused because it's like, they, they made some bad choices here that really have broke your heart, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's now it's just at this point, it's like, okay, how do I actually really bring justice to this situation? Because I've definitely done some effed up to Virgo. How do I balance the scales here? Seven of Pentacles here in the upright position right there. Why is that there? How do they end the hardships? Thank you really truly in the hardships they overthinking the shit because in order to come in to you here with this hermit in the reverse here of course they gonna have to come completely correct right what what is up with this karmic doesn't want um virgo's person these masculines Yeah, that's what it is. Because of the pain. Because of what they did. They still holding on to how they hurt them. That's why they don't want to release them. Okay? They want to keep them in this karmic bond. In this contract with them. Because it's, it's their way of getting justice. What's this divine time? Oh, the divine time basically comes out with the seven of pentacles. All right, so divine timing basically saying that your efforts will pay off, but it's gonna it's gonna happen in divine timing. Okay, so we we already know how that works. It's like the blink of an eye, right? You never know. You can wake up tomorrow and be like, oh snap, my whole life has changed. Tell me about hiding my true feelings. Same thing, seven of pentacles, <laughs> upright position. True feelings is they want to end the hardships. <laughs> they want to actually, um, for some of you who are friends want to turn a friendship into something deeper they want to they actually really want to progress here with you they want to be able to admire everything about you guys connection like and what i'm hearing is like out loud wow all right y'all so i'm gonna get ready to go because that's 48 minutes in and i don't want no bs trying to get this video off my cell phone okay y'all that wasn't that was a lot <laughs> that was a lot of channeling here <laughs> i feel like i'm good i'm gonna take me a hot shower real quick and then i'm gonna lay it down and then i will talk to you guys tomorrow you guys be blessed and i love you all peace